We recently hit a milestone here at Gardening with Creekside and it made us pause and think about how far we've come as a nursery. Come with me, sit on the porch, and let's stroll down memory lane together. Stay tuned. friends welcome to Garden with Creekside I am Jenny and today we are going to take a little stroll down memory lane we're sitting here on our front porch and I have the laptop in front of me just to kind of help me um, stay on track and go through what and how far we have come as a nursery. Jerry and I started Creekside Nursery in 2005 and we began it as a little side job doing some vegetable gardening and we quick, quickly realized how much we absolutely loved it and it just grew and developed we'll fast forward and basically say we had three babies in five years and the nursery was busy and booming as a vegetable um, nursery i guess was vegetables were our main focus and we began to shift to plants and so Creekside Nursery, as you know it right now, really began in 2000 and, oh gosh, 13. That's right. See, all these days, just like, it seems like it was yesterday, and then on the other hand, it seems like it was a lifetime ago. But it was 2013 when this picture was taken. And you can see this beautiful, green, lush field. Well, that is actually where the whole nursery is right now. This was land that we had decided would be a perfect spot to invite our customers to come and shop and to grow our business. So we recruited some friends who have a local um, business clearing land and commercial property and they prepped the land for us. And you can see, I mean, it was a massive undertaking. They had to remove tons of trees. They had to regrade. I mean, the whole area just had to be fixed. This is one of my absolute favorite pictures though. Jackson and Megan standing there right there at the culvert watching all of the equipment do all of their work it was just such a sweet little picture and i'll i think i'll always remember that but i wanted to show you this picture um is from this angle where i'm standing if you have been here at the nursery basically i am standing at the corner of the pines and i am looking down onto the whole nursery where you see that loader um, is basically the back of the barn so that whole section contains now both greenhouses the barn the outdoor shopping area and all of that now of course my boys were in absolute heaven when all this heavy equipment was out here working and you can see i mean jackson and jerry were just in seventh heaven loved every single minute of it and look how tiny jackson is he's now 10 and he was just he was an itty bitty back then but anyway we got the road the um excuse me got the land cleared jerry did the road he installed the road this was in the fall you can see those pretty fall colors um that dirt path is now what is the road um but all throughout this whole process with Creekside Nursery, our kids have been a part of every single step of it. We basically say that they were raised in a greenhouse because we have pictures of all of them at some stage in their life in a greenhouse. Some of them like to eat dirt. Some of them, <laughs> some of them refuse to wear shoes and just had the absolute most fun. Of course, they all love the equipment. They're all on the tractors. They're all you know in the Kubota and driving things and just having the absolute most fun um jackson of course has always loved anything that has a motor and this is one of those sweet pictures where he is staring at jerry's chainsaw knowing that he is not supposed to touch it at all and you can look at that face you can see he wants to touch it so bad but he's holding his hands because he knows that his mama will punish him quite severely if he touches that chainsaw and then here we are um, together in the whole construction process. What was really, this was, 
you know, we do everything ourselves here because of God's grace and his provisions. He has allowed us to do all of this work. And some jobs are a little more fun than others and some are just not very pleasant. So this is one of those jobs that was not very pleasant. What we are doing is digging the holes for the fence and the gate to the entrance of the nursery. And oh my word, I don't know if you have ever used a two person auger before, but we were basically drilling through concrete. I mean, look at this hole. It is nothing but hard red, North Carolina red clay with rocks in it. We killed ourselves digging those holes. And so we were like, we, if we never see this equipment again, it will be too soon. But it got done. Look at that beautiful fence and that gate was installed and it's still there today. So clearly the holes worked, but man, whoo. Now this is our first greenhouse going up. Jerry has the black plastics where, where you see that black um, landscape fabric. That's where the greenhouse is. He's going out there. He's going to put some um, gravel on it. And there you see who is supervising. I mean, every step of the way, that little fella is right there with his daddy, making sure that um, everything is done. And he just wants to sit there and watch and be a part of it. And then throughout this whole process of Creekside Nursery, we have had the most love and support from friends and family. This is one of our dear friends, Mark. He was actually at the time, um, had been, he was not at this time, had been our local um, ag agent. And so he and his family are just precious to us, but he was in town one day. And so we recruited him to help drill the um, stakes that help, that support the greenhouse that holds it up. And you can tell from Mark's face, it was, <laughs> It was not a fun job, but um, we just have the best, the best friends that help at any, at any stage. So greenhouse is up. It is going. I mean, that is the first structure. That is the first structure of, of Creekside Nursery. Of course, you know, like I said, there's the supervisor right there with his daddy the whole time. My parents have been fantastic. This is where we're putting on the plastic of the greenhouse. This is our very first greenhouse ever putting up. So we didn't really know what in the world we were doing. Um, but we did it because Jerry's brain, God just designed Jerry's brain to work this way that he can figure these things out. So I never have any doubt in what this man can do. But I was a little scared in this one because he was actually um, walking along the top ridge pole of the greenhouse laying out plastic. Not exactly the safest thing to do, but all was well. Um, putting on plastic of a greenhouse is quite interesting, especially if you've never done it before. Um, but alas, it got done and there we go. Um, so this was our first year. This was our first spring. I believe this was spring of 2014 where we actually grew in the greenhouse. We sold from here. Um, people came, but that is the first little greenhouse. So if you're looking at it, now we have a greenhouse to the right of that. The pergola is to the left of it. Um, and then we began the barn. So finish one greenhouse, start on the next project. If you haven't picked up on it here at Creekside, we always have a project going on. Like there is just one thing after another. So we built our barn ourselves. So this was that whole process of building the barn. Um, we actually, all the siding on the barn is pines from our property. My daddy has a sawmill. And so we used his sawmill to cut all of the lumber that is the siding of the barn. So that's really fun um, and really neat. And it was, again, just a whole family project. I mean, everybody's there. We, um, our German Shepherd was there, the kids, you know, the whole, the whole thing. We got the building up as far as the barn was up. The frame was up. We paused that and then went back over and built another greenhouse. So <clears throat> now we have two greenhouses in that whole process, but <laughs> Jerry has always been one, and I totally agree, you work smarter, not harder. So when we put this greenhouse up, he did not use the handheld manual um, post pounder, I don't know what you call it. Um, he used a pneumatic pounder. So he used hydraulics to pound them in the ground and it was much, much easier. And that, my, that's my daddy there supervising and helping Jerry. So got that greenhouse up. These are some fun little pictures of um, getting that wood sawed at the sawmill with daddy. Um, great pine that's beautiful on the barn. And that just took some time. I mean, it's Again, you know, over time, but we got it done. The kids would always come over and help and they would, we would then have little campfires from all the little scraps of wood. So lots of fun. Now, this is the spring of 2000. 
15 or 16. We'll put the right date up there. They all kind of comes together. We actually had two greenhouses and a barn. So there you go. And then from there, it just kind of grew. I mean, the kids, like I said, have always been involved. It was 2016 when we first brought Proven Winners in to the nursery. And I tell people we decided to try it out because we'd heard great things about it, um, the brand itself. So we brought in a, a handful of plants. They did amazingly well. We loved them. So the next year we bought some more. And every year we just added more and more of the Proven Winners plants to our inventory. So then it was this year, 2020, was our first year of being 100% Proven Winners annuals. So all of our annual inventory was 100% Proven Winners product. And of course, we carry their perennials and shrubs. And um, But so if you're looking for some Proven Winners, then Creekside Nursery is definitely the place to go. But it's just there's so many memories. The kids have just been involved in every single step of this nursery. Um, they are an integral part from the, from the farmer's market days and being babies in the playpen um, to now when you come and you'll meet the kids because they're here, they're working. This is a family effort. They are all in here together. But it was now, so this is 2020. So it was December of last year, 2019, that Jerry got this great idea that we needed another large production greenhouse. So that is not the time, December and January, February is not the optimal time to be putting up a greenhouse that you plan on using for production that year because we get plants in January and February. So trying to juggle all that was quite an ordeal, but again, it all worked out. It was great. Um, we had to, Jerry had to make a whole road coming from this property all the way up to the production greenhouse. Of course, the gravel trucks come, they're dumping, they get stuck because it's wet in North Carolina in the winter. Um, but it's just always something around here. Nothing really shocks us anymore because we have just about seen it all. But we have had, the Lord has just provided amazing people in our Creekside life. Uh, our beloved Christine came in a few years ago and she is just an absolute integral part of this whole operation. We could not do this without her. Um, so she is here. We've had wonderful people. We've had Mary Claire working at the barn and we've had Rylan and now we have Sarah here. So we truly are a family um, just working together and everybody pitches in. Nobody says, oh, well, I don't want to do that. It's just like, sure, let's do it. Let's tackle it. So we do have that mentality here and it is just, it's a lot of fun. It is a ton of work, a ton ton of work, but we enjoy it and it's fun and it makes it all worth it when we get to meet um, new customers and those customers become our friends and um, the, the hummingbirds. Sorry, I get distracted. I don't know if you just saw that. The hummingbirds are going quite crazy this morning, but friends who have become family and we never would have met those people had it not been for Creekside Nursery. So when we say that um, when you come to the nursery, you're really coming into our home, you really are because the nursery, I'm sitting on my front porch and I can see the nursery right there. It is all connected and that is very intentional that we share this property and this gorgeous land with, with you. And so we are just so honored when you come and visit us. So with all of you wonderful people coming to visit us here at the nursery, a lot of you just have questions about, you know, the barn and the history. So that's why we really thought it would be wonderful and fun and just a lot of fun for us to take this stroll down memory lane um, and to share with Creekside Nursery with those of you that maybe can't come to I'm telling you, the hummingbirds are everywhere. I know I'm like really distracted right now, but they are everywhere. Um, so we wanted to share this nursery with you. For those of you that probably may not, you're just too far away. So this is a way for us to welcome you into our home. And that was really the creation of YouTube is to bring people here who are just far away. And it has worked wonderfully. We have people all over the place. And then our relationship with Proven Winners, it was back in March where we were making a video of the Vermillionaire and Lemon Coral Sedum arrangement that they took that video, put it on their YouTube channel. Things just really from that point just exploded and has been such a fun time. We have a great working relationship with Proven Winners. We've helped run their booth at the Southern Spring Show in Charlotte for the last two years. 
This year, Christine got to join us. We met Jack Barnwell there. It's just this nursery has opened up so many doors of opportunities for us that we are incredibly grateful for. We have no clue where this nursery is going to go or what the future holds for us, but we do know that it's going to be an amazing ride and we are so excited that you are a part of it with us. So as always, we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for so much of your love and support. For those of you who are local who have supported us from day one, I'm, I look back at some of these pictures and I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't believe y'all actually came out to visit us. And though, so those people who have been with us from the very, very beginning to those of you who have just joined us, um, welcome. You are a part of our family. We love you. We appreciate you. Y'all have a great day. Cannot wait to share next video with you. We'll see you next time. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.